Hello, I'm Atuba Judge, and welcome to the month of February 2024. Praise God. Now, I know in the month of January, we, we didn't have broadcasts we were sharing with you. Now, that's for a reason. Like I explained during the broadcast I sent out on my birthday. Now, if you've not watched that broadcast, search it on our YouTube channel and it will bless you. And the Lord commanded us to be quiet until He says otherwise. So throughout the month of January, the Lord didn't ask us to preach or to share any message with you. Praise God. Now, when you walk with the Lord, you have to learn to obey Him. If the Lord says, keep quiet, then keep quiet. If the Lord says, speak, then He will put words in your mouth. If He says, keep quiet, and you want to speak by yourself, then your words will be just your words. Praise God. But praise God, the Lord has given us a word for the month of February. And it's amazing how highly God thinks of us. So what's the Lord saying concerning the month of February 2022? Now I told you, I think I had really released the message. The Lord said 2024 is a year where the true will be revealed. Those that are true will be revealed. They will be known. So a lot of things are going to be happening in the church. A lot of things are going to be happening in what we call the body of Christ. Now, listen to me. Everything that is going to be happening will be a test. Everything that is going to be happening this year will be a test. And the test is not for you to comment on. The test is not for you to, to, to stick side or say anything. Even you are being tested to know who you are. Praise God. You see, it's not for us to come here and say, this is real or this is the right one, or this is the wrong one, or this is the real one, or this is the fake one. It, God knows. He knows. He knows. So this is a testing year. But in the midst of a testing year, I'll tell you one truth. Those that are of God will continue to shine and shine and shine. Praise God. And what's the Lord saying concerning the month of February? The scripture to you in John chapter 17. John chapter 17 and verse 22. I'm reading from the old King James. It says, and this is Jesus speaking, mind you. He said, and the glory which thou givest me, I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one. Wonderful. Now, many of us have not sat down to meditate to get the truth or the depth of the statement. Jesus talking to God, he says, the glory that you gave me. Hey, what glory? did Jesus receive from the Lord? He says, the glory that you gave me, I have given to them. Wonderful. You see, we may assume, but what is the truth? Only Jesus can tell us what that glory is. But listen, throughout this month of February, I'm going to be sharing some things with you that will turn your life around. I'm telling you the truth. Beginning from our prayer meeting that's going on right now today, you know, today we pray according to the watches. So if you've not, if you've not joined the previous watches, join the next one. Praise God. We, we, we've sent out the link on the, 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 cause the prayer meeting is holding via Zoom. So search for the link or send us a message. We'll quickly send the Zoom um, codes to you so you can join the next watch. These are not meetings you should miss. Because apart from the fact that we'll be praying and ministering during these meetings, the knowledge of God's truth will be coming so powerfully and truthfully. <laughs> Praise God. Listen, go for the truth of God's word. Don't let any man deceive you. Don't let any man cheat you out of that which is yours. 
There are lots of deceiving spirits out there. Don't fall for any of them. There are men who, for whatever reason, have given heed to deceiving spirits. The Bible spoke about them. See, not everyone who speaks wrong is actually wrong. There are good men who subjected their minds to deceiving spirits. And they began to follow them. That's because they did not retain God in their minds. You know that, right? It's your responsibility to retain God in your mind. What does it mean to retain God in your mind? To see things. Now, first, first of all, before you think of retaining God, you've got to um, receive Him. See? You, you can't retain what you don't have. So you've got to first receive God in your mind. And after receiving God in your mind, then you retain Him. And retaining God in your mind is looking at life through the binoculars of God. Through the binoculars of His Word. So when Jesus declared and said, Father, the glory that you have given me, I have given them. What is that glory? Simple. The glory is the Holy Ghost. The glory is the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit that God gave, gave to Jesus. And you see, nobody can see the Holy Spirit. That's the amazing thing. Praise God. But He's alive. He's active. He's, he's, he's walking in us. <laughs> so Jesus praying and, 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 and John chapter 17 is like Jesus giving the report of his work on earth because he was rounding off his work. So he, he was giving these reports unto the Father. He says, look, I've done this, I've done this, this has happened, I've kept them. You know, he was reporting himself to the Father just like every one of us will do because he knew his time was over on earth, I mean. And so he began to speak to the Father and then he made this powerful statement, the glory that you gave me, I have given to them. He didn't say, I will give to them. He said, I have given to them. And I said, that glory is the Holy Spirit. So when Jesus began to say to us, that look, the Holy Spirit will come. I have, I'll pray the Father and he will give you the Holy Spirit. Wonderful. But many of us don't know what the Holy Spirit is doing in our lives. We don't know. Now, we can never talk. I don't even think we've, we've all these years, I don't think we've been able to speak uh, up to, or maybe actively experience up to 30% of what the Holy Spirit is supposed to do in us. We just scratch the surface and we are so excited. Oh, listen, I'm going to be sharing with you throughout this month. That glory, the expression of that glory, how that glory affects our lives and how that glory affects the world through us. Praise God. I feel that glory all around me right now. Because the Spirit of God is going to be changing lives. The Spirit of God is going to be doing marvelous things in our life. Listen, don't miss any of our broadcasts. If you're in the city of Abuja, find out where we are meeting. And don't miss any one of our meetings this year. Oh, God is doing mighty things. See, as God is, is, is purifying His body, that's what God is doing. I told you, he, he said to me last year, he says, look, I'm going to be doing a walk. And when I begin, I don't want you to speak about it. I don't want, now, when he says don't speak about it, he meant don't, don't, don't take sight. Don't try to explain what is going on. Don't try to say, okay, this is this. No, no, no. He says, you're going to be quiet about it until I command you to speak. Now, if the Lord commands us to speak specifically about what's going on, I'll tell you exactly what the, the no now the Lord have given us wisdom, the Lord have given us certain experiences. So we know. But when the Lord said keep quiet, I understand why he says keep quiet, because he told me. So let this season pass. 
But while the city is part, those that are born of God, those that love the Lord, those that belong to Him, they will hear the truth. And they will walk in the freedom that the truth of God brings. Praise God. They are the ones we are concerned about. Our message is not for the whole world. But we are to touch the whole world. But the truth of what we share, the whole world cannot contain it. We know. We know. Because it takes the Spirit of God being in you for you to even understand His message. That that's how deep His message is. You will never understand the message until that glory has been given to you. And not only given to you, you also have to receive that glory that has been given to you. And all the work of the Holy Spirit on the earth. He, he cost he caused his spirit to dwell in us and to begin to produce hey <laughs> thank you Holy Spirit thank you Holy Spirit I, I, I see someone being healed in the mind someone is being healed in the mind you're watching me and you you actually feel something is wrong with your mind and you just have this fear in you that people will begin to notice that something is not right with you and you know that something is off you know that you're getting worse you're trying to hide it yes you're trying to hide it because you have this fear that people will soon know and you're concerned about how people begin to treat you listen to me put your hand on your head right now you really feel you're going crazy now i'm not talking about i'm going you know somebody just said i'm going crazy right now no you really really feel that um things are going to get so fast and you're going to just be really crazy put your hand on your head right now the lord just showed you to me and he wants me to pray for you because that's not how he created you. He loves you. He created you with a sound mind. Put your hand on your head right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There's an anointing of God that is going to come upon you now. Spirit of the living God. The sound mind that we receive from you. Let it be made manifest in him now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command that devil to leave you now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be free. Be free. Yes, be free. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will not hear those voices again. Because the Lord just showed me that you hear certain voices. Those voices look so real to you. No other person hear them, but you hear. So your problem is actually a demonic attack. But thank God for the Holy Ghost. Thank God for the authority Jesus has given us to cast out devils. Praise God. Hey, even you, even you, you can resist that voice. And say, Satan, I bind and I cast you out. Stop talking to me. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Can you just say this with me? You, you, you are that I'm talking to. Say this with me. Say, Holy Spirit, I invite you to take over my mind, to take over my life. Give me the right thoughts to think. Give me your word. Let me feast on it. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Something is happening in your life and i hear the lord said in three months in three you that i'm talking to in three months there is a door that is going to open for you that is going to completely turn your life around so count from now to three months in three months time a door now that's actually what satan was fighting 
God has said to bless you. He's, he's, he's written it already. Nothing can be done about it. Praise God. It's set already. But Satan wanted to destroy you before that time, before that day. But thank God for the Holy Spirit. You are free in the name of the Lord Jesus. Go on, praise the Lord, give him praise and just thank him for what he has done for you. I see all manner of chains being broken. Yeah, people in bondage, th those chains are being broken. Those chains are being broken. I see someone being healed in the left ear. Hey, thank you, Lord Jesus. Listen, every oppression of the devil in your life right now, I command it to leave. I command it to stop right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every oppression from the devil, from that ear, I command that devil to go from you now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I see all manner of pains around the head you know some serious migraine they are leaving you right now in the name of the lord jesus christ thank you lord jesus every kind of pain in your body listen as we are praying right now you can get up and begin to do what you couldn't do before yes please get up do what you couldn't do before you see if you couldn't walk before rise up and begin to walk there's 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 so much glory that I sense coming from me right now. And, and it's coming right there where you are. Praise God. If you open your heart and receive it, then the glory of God is resting on you and He's giving you grace and power to do what you couldn't do before. Sickness is gone from you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Things are changing. Listen, this is the year you are going to enjoy God the most. I'm telling you the truth. Praise God. You're going to enjoy God the most. You're going to see the grace of God in dimensions you have never seen. You know why? Because he's saying, hey, it's time to walk in that glory. Hey, Kabo Sabaya. It's time to walk in that glory. What does it mean to walk in that glory? Those are the things I'm going to be sharing with you throughout this month of February and beyond. It's time to walk. It's not just to receive the glory. It's time to walk in that glory glory to god oh hallelujah 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 praise god i'm so excited now why am i so excited i see what god is doing i see mighty things god is doing and your life is going to manifest it you are going to speak of it thank you lord jesus don't look at the economy don't look at what's happening around the world look at what god is doing in the midst of all these happenings look at what god is doing what did he say when men say there is a casting down what are you going to say it's not just a cliche it is the truth. You are going to find reasons to say, hey, there is lifting up. Hallelujah. For the Lord is lifting you up. And he's lifting you up because that glory that Jesus received from him, he has given to us. So this month, walk in that glory. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I bless you with the anointing of God's Spirit today. I pray that the Holy Spirit will guide you into places He has prepared for you every day. I pray you will go out, you will come in, you will find pasture this month. This month, all your needs will be supernaturally met in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is well with you. Praise God. God bless you. Like I told you earlier, you can join our prayer meeting that is ongoing at every watch today. The, the link is on the screen. You, you can just, the, the, the Zoom ID and, and the passcode is on the screen. You can join the next meeting. The next meeting is in the next watch. Now, what, what, what do I mean watches? 12, 12 midnight, 3 a.m., 6 a.m., 
9 a.m., 12 noon, 3 p.m., 6 p.m., 9 p.m. See, 9 p.m. is the last meeting we are going to be having. Praise God. God is going to be doing amazing things in Amis. So join us. God bless you. See you on Monday.